friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a mature white cataract with pseudo exfoliation and small pupil let us observe this surgery after the main incision the anterior capsule is being stained with trypan blue dye underneath an air bubble and now this is a bit of phenocaine which contains tropicamide phenylephrine and lignocaine and this is a bit of adrenaline so with all these medications the people didn't dilate and i have decided to use a people expansion device in this case and the people expansion device that i'm going to use is bhex people expander which is a uni planar device it has got notches and flanges alternate flanges are tucked under the iris so in this way we make some room under the iris injecting a bit of visco and now this is the bhex people expander invented by dr subhan vattacharji of kolkata india the leading flange is tucked and the flange at on o'clock is also tucked at on go through the main incision the anterior is still deep the flange at 10 o'clock is then tucked by the non dominant hand and it is done the people has taken hexagonal shape capsulorexis is then completed we get a capsulorexis of about 5 mm and now the fecal needle goes in with its bevel down some superficial cortical lens matter is removed then the hand piece is turned to make the bevel up and now the nucleus is pushed little down the tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus it goes towards the opposite equator and a deep nice crack is done this is another chop the free nuclear fragment is removed to make some room for the rest of the nucleus for easy movement now this smaller portion is chopped and it is emulsified this nucleus is not very hard it is grade 3 plus or grade 4 and this is the larger hemineucleus it is divided into pieces this is the endonucleus and this piece is emulsified now this is the last piece still i am in 450 vacuum and 45 fluorite ultrasonic energy is set at 70% but most of the time i am using less energy which is being controlled by foot pedal so the nucleus and the nucleus has been managed visco is injected and now cortical clean up was done with a 23g simco cannula in this case the sub incisional cortex is removed going through the left side port the right side port was too small
so the posterior capsule is clean and now 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is used to fill up the capsular bag as well as the anterior chamber and now this is a very important step when there is B hex we must enlarge the main wound so that the tip of the cartridge goes inside beyond the flange which is just in front of the main incision and the haptic trailing haptic should be delivered beyond the flange like this the flange has gone into the capsular bag and the haptic and the flange has not been traced by the haptic the nucleus is the uh, intraocular lens is dialed and now is the time to remove the B hex this is a bit uh, in a bit slow motion this flange is held it is pulled centrally again go to near near the angle and all the flanges disengage and it is pulled out and now cortical uh, now the viscoelastic substance is thoroughly removed I used Simco for some time which has not been shown this is an edited video but most of the important steps has been shown this is cleaning of viscoelastic substance after thorough cleaning of the visco this is a bit of moxifloxacin now the side ports are closed by hydrating corneal stroma with balanced salt solution and now a final lavage the final lavage is carried out by this 23 gauze Simcoe cannula. The antechamber is nicely formed in this way and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, compassion and great surgical competence.